Here on the floor of the North American International Auto Show is the automobility display, and we've run into Steve Letart here. He is the president of the Hella Corporate Center USA, and you got a pretty interesting vehicle with all kinds of technologies on it, Steve. Why don't you start out pointing out what you got on this okay, thing? Okay, well, thanks, John. So we have several different technologies on this vehicle that we see that are sensors that are supporting autonomous drive and advanced driver assistance systems. Uh, one of the features that we have here that might be interesting is that in addition to the sensors that are seen objects, it's important also to develop sensors that feel objects. And what we have here is what we call our shake sensor. And this is basically a device that is detecting minute vibrations in the vehicle. And the reason why it's interesting is, as you can imagine here, when you have some type of collision of a minor event, you don't pick up that in certain, uh, with your airbag control module, let's say. So you might have a very small vibration that you pick up, which is maybe someone scratching the vehicle or very light uh, detents. That may be interesting for someone because if you think about in the case of an auto, of a basic car sharing situation in which a vehicle is out for several days and has six different drivers, the car comes back as a scratch in the mirror and of course nobody's responsible for that. In this case, you could actually set this up so that when you have some type of small collision, you can actually do a timestamp and know exactly when that occurred. And then you know exactly who the person was that had the damage. Or even thinking beyond that, if you already have the presence of, of camera of cameras surrounding the vehicle, when you when you have that type of alert, you could actually activate the cameras, take pictures of everything in the environment, catch a license plate, and maybe know who actually did the damage overall. That's going to be very beneficial, especially Absol when we get into more ride sharing and Absol car sharing. Absolutely, and, and, and some of the things you can see here, we actually go into production later this year, and another interesting aspect we can see from a safety standpoint with this is that we have one called road collision sensing that we utilize as technology, and they were mounting behind the fender well here and what we're detecting is how many water droplets are coming off of the tire and then hitting the back of the wheel well and by giving that information to the vehicle then you can determine how safe the operation is at that time so either giving maybe a pass alert to say be aware that the road conditions are wet or maybe deactivating cruise control or something like that so, so when you think about this having that type of technology available that becomes the enabler for innovation so you know you, you can sense this now what do I do with that capability very good, let's yeah. move on to the next okay, one because you got this big screen yeah. mounted on the front of this car. What, okay. What's this all about? Okay, so here you see a couple of different applications that we're using. One is for radar with 77 gigahertz radar and you see that in the top screen. And the, the green dots are basically detecting the presence of the individual. So you see where they're located relative to the vehicle and also how far away they are. And that of course is used as, as a complimentary suite for 360 surround of the vehicle to be able to enable autonomous driving as well as some of the other feature sets uh, like you know, automated parking and, and other aspects like that. So it's important to have the high frequency technology for that to have the differentiation of the, of the people and the objects and know exactly where an object is and have high resolution relative to the position. Okay, and on to the next one. Okay, and we've very got good. The, the Hella logo displayed right on the ground here. Yeah, so what you see here, John, is a, what we call the multi-lens array. And what that is, is basically a light that has 170 different micro lenses. And they're, in this case, projecting all the same image. Now, what that allows you to do is that we actually mount this underneath the rocker panel in an area that typically is getting very dirty. And you've seen some cases where you have puddle lamps projecting a, a logo like this on the ground. One lens, if it gets occluded with mud, you don't see the whole image or at all. And, and also when the, when the door moves, so does the image. In this case, it's stable relative to the vehicle. And then because we have all these separate lenses on there, if, if 50 of them become partially occluded, you're still seeing the image of it with high resolution. So it makes it easy to mount that there. And then you think about the different possibilities that it generates. Not only do we talk about individualization, as we have with the logo here, but if we come around the vehicle, you can see another aspect where we can see that you can start to use this type of technology for safety aspects. So as you see on this side of the vehicle, you can imagine with the safety triangle and the drive around zone, you can imagine the case when, when it's dark at night, the driver goes to open the door, the vehicle knows that, and you can illuminate this image on the ground to let the people driving by know that someone is getting out of the car. It's a warning for those coming exactly, up. Exactly, exactly. So you can think about all the different aspects you can do with that, with keep around zones and, and giving, basically it fits into the genre of thinking about autonomous driving, realizing that you still want to find a way to allow the vehicle to communicate with a person to let everyone know what the vehicle or the driver are intending. And you can only really do that with something visual, and if you want it to be dynamic or changing, you, you can do that with light in the most effective way. Very interesting what you're doing, especially with the lighting of the car. Yeah, thank you. Steve Letart, thanks so much. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah, thanks for showing us what hell is up to these right, days. Thank you very much.